Good morning. It's another beautiful day here in the Himalayas of Nepal. Today is day four of my Annapurna Circuit trek. And I am just getting ready to hit the trail now. This is where I spent the night. So I've just had some breakfast and a cup of coffee and now I'm ready to hit the trail. Are you guys ready to get going? Day four, we're here in the village of Tal and I'll give you guys a little quick tour. There's not a whole lot to see here. It's pretty small. And I plan today is to try to get to a village called Darapani. And it should be about a three hour or so trek. And there's a bunch of things to do there. I was just talking to the owner of this place and he was telling me about this massive suspension bridge. So I don't know. We'll see if we can find this bridge. But let's try to get to Dharapani first and enjoy another wonderful day on the Annapurna circuit. Let's get going.
Oh, it's around 12 degrees this morning, a little bit chilly. Had to throw on the, an extra layer. Kind of down in this valley. Wicked waterfall. That's where I am, village of Tao. Namaste. And I don't know if you can see, but right here snow peak namaste Pretty cool little suspension bridge there. Not sure if I would trust that bridge at a higher elevation. Wouldn't want to fall into that water. Although it looks nice and refreshing. Be damn cold. It's nice when I'm back out in the sun, going through the village there, it was all shade. 12 degrees, feels cold. I gotta figure out how the hell to get out of here. I'm on the moon. Ah, oh, just take in the sun. I think I have to go this way and then up along the dirty old road <laughs> maybe up this way Maybe this way, I don't know. I can't really see a path.
Uh, I guess this is a makeshift path here. Duh. Okay, maybe that way, I don't know. Yeah. This way. I think, I don't know. This can't be the way. All right, take two. All right, I found the way out. Just gotta climb up the side of this mountain here. Great way to bust an ankle there. All right, you're gonna have to put the camera down for this one. A bit too steep to one hand it. All right, made it up that hill. Wasn't too bad. Had to change out my battery and Put on the old shades, it's getting sunny. I like to start each day with incredible inclines. But I've made it to the road. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to be on the road all the way to Darampani. Hopefully it's not too busy. in the shade it can be quite chilly in the sun it can be quite warm but right here I've got this beautiful breeze just dry the pits out I 
I'm about 40 minutes into the hike. It's been relatively easy. Fairly flat, little bits of ups, a little bit of downs, but nothing crazy like at the beginning. And that was just for a short period of time. Gorgeous down here. Hey puppy. I stay. Uh, cutie. Can't eat your foot, bud. Hey, you guys need that bath. Well, I've been walking for just over an hour now. It's been nice, fairly level ground. Not too many inclines, which has been the theme of this hike so far. The Jeeps are few and far between, which is a plus. So all in all, it's a great day for a hike. The weather is beautiful. A little bit cooler today than it was yesterday. Well, that's all right, just means less sweaty. And if I have to throw on an extra layer, so be it. I started with the sweater on this morning and it's gone now. I just have this lightweight long sleeve t-shirt. Just been following the river. Not really sure where I am, but it doesn't really matter.
Oh, here comes the bike. The bikes I don't mind too much. Just those damn Jeeps full of fucking tourists. <laughs> I know I'm a tourist as well. Sometimes life just feels better without vehicles. You know what I mean? And I guess this trail is actually going to be mostly road. I don't know if it's ever going to turn into trail unless I find another side trail. But it sure is a beautiful place nonetheless. <laughs> beautiful. Good to recharge the water bottle when I see those watering stations because I really have no idea how far the next watering station is going to be and I was down to about one third of that one liter bottle. Got to stay hydrated on the trail. Well in this case the road I brought some headphones or earbuds, whatever the hell you want to call them. But I just get nervous on this road because I can't hear anything. And these Jeeps, the roadways can get pretty narrow, the Jeeps go pretty fast scare the shit right out of you and a jeep goes flying by and you have no idea. I don't always like to walk on the edge because sometimes the edge can be a little too risque. So I tend to stay to the side but again the roads aren't very wide. The jeeps just no fucks given and they just fly down this road. So I get a little nervous with the earbuds in.
Hey, buddy. Namaste. So I guess the past few days here have been, um, they're celebrating Diwali. Last year I was in Malaysia at this time, in Kuala Lumpur, and the fireworks were just next level. People partying everywhere, it was such an amazing time. Here it's been a lot more quiet. The villages have a different way of celebrating, not so much with the fireworks, but more with the children singing and going from door to door, singing. It's been cool to see. I love that I've been in this part of the world now for two years in a row, been able to experience Diwali with different cultures in different countries, all celebrating the same oh. holiday. Hello. It's one of the reasons I love to travel. I love experiencing different culture and different way of life. Oh, there's another sketchy bridge. Oh, it's a carte. I don't know if this is where I want to be. I'm going to put you on pause. I got to check my map because I'm heading that way to Darapani. Sweet. Maybe we're going to do some more trail time. I'll be back in a flash, folks. Yep, this is the way. So we'll cross this sketchy bridge. These things are so cool. It's a little bit scary at times. Wind is strong right now. I guess we want to go this way. Namaste.
Sweet! Pretty cool. That last little stretch was straight up the side of the mountain. I found this little side trail off the main road. Love the little side trails. I prefer the trails over the road, no matter how difficult they are. I've been hiking now for a little over two hours. It was a little after 9 a.m. when I left the village at all, and it's about 20 after 11 right now. It's another gorgeous day. You couldn't ask for better weather. I'm on day four, Annapurna Circuit Trek. 
I'm so happy to be here. I've really been enjoying this adventure. The Annapurna has been on my bucket list for a very long time. And I'm just so grateful that it's finally here and I'm experiencing this. It's been my biggest adventure yet, my biggest solo adventure. You got to push yourself and that's what I'm doing. I'm so glad that I took the plunge and did it. It's been an awesome time. I found this rock. I'm just going to take a breather. Yesterday I pushed for five hours, mostly uphill reached an elevation I found of almost 2,500 meters. Today has been pretty smooth sailing. It was a little bit of up hit the mountain when I first started, but then a gradual decline, gradual incline. The last 20 minutes or half an hour or so have been straight upstairs, but it's kind of leveled out now. I'm gonna go to the village of Darapani which I think is about an hour to hour and a half away, so not too much longer. Yesterday I pushed for five hours. Today I'm only going to push for about three to three and a half hours. I've got all kinds of time because there's no point in sweating it. I'm going to enjoy these little villages and what they have to offer. Just enjoy myself here in Nepal, in the Himalayas. Take a break and then keep on trekking. Life is good. Well, there's a village behind me here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if that's Darapani or not. But let's go check it out. I just wanted to enjoy this view here. Way up there, I don't know if you can see it. There's another ice cap. Love when we can see those. Oh, it's been uphill most of the way. Got a little bit more uphill to go. Then I'm going to be going down, crossing over that river, checking out that village, see what it is. We're almost at that bridge crossing.
pretty amazing river. That's the bridge I'm going to be going down, going across. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. But way up there between those two peaks, there's one of those suspension bridges. I have no idea how high up that would be. Can you see it there? Insane. No idea how you'd even get up there. Just getting up there would be one hell of a hike. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Come into this small village, see what they have to say, I don't know. Insane. So we've made it to another village. Not of a hundred percent certain. Every sign has a different name on it. But I don't think I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna keep on trekking.
Oh, checkpoint? Yeah, you need to So that was the second checkpoint that I've come across since I've started this trek. And I am in Darapani, the village. And I just had to show them that pass. They just signed it, stamped it, sent me on my way. Oh, right on. You can see a snow peak. You guys see that? Pretty wild. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot going on here. I don't know if I'm going to stay, if I want to go. Maybe I'll explore just a little bit more, see what I can find. Well guys, I'm going to wrap up that this video right here. I wanted to show you guys a little drone view of this village and the area that I'm in, but I was told that I'm not able to fly the drone here, so I'm not going to try. Don't want to get into any trouble. I made it to the village of Darapani. It took me <clears throat> just over three hours today to get here. I trekked 12 kilometers, so a lighter day. I'm just going to take the rest of the afternoon and just kind of relax. I'm going to try to push forward a little bit more tomorrow. See what the day brings. It was a great day. Excellent day for trekking. The temperature's starting to get a little bit more cool now. <clears throat> I had to put my sweater back on. Anyways, if you guys made it this far, thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. You guys take care for now, and we'll see you tomorrow, day five of the Annapurna Circuit Trek.